just signed an agreement between the IOC and the IPC, uh, a long-term agreement, so it goes from uh, right after the Tokyo Games in 2020 until 2032. Uh, it's about a more integration, uh, more work together in many uh, different fields, such as, uh, of course, the implementation of the Agenda 2020, so the management and the delivery of the Olympic and the Paralympic Games. There is also a financial contribution uh, from the IOC towards the IPC, more integration when it comes to branding, when it comes to marketing and sponsorship activities. So it's, a, it's an amazing, I would say, opportunity for the Paralympic movement to grow. How much does it please you that you've been able to secure a deal of this length and magnitude to help develop both the Olympics and the Paralympics going forward? It's uh, extremely important in, in our time because we are living in a very fragile world uh, with uh, many uh, changes and uh, their stability is uh, maybe uh, the hardest uh, currency you, you can have in, in this time and uh, therefore this uh, long-term uh, agreement gives uh, both uh, organizations uh, the opportunity to uh, really uh, uh, exploit the potential in uh, promoting and defending uh, the values uh, we share. The Paralympic movement, which you mentioned, has obviously developed and grown phenomenally over the last few decades. How crucial has this relationship with the Olympics, the IOC, been? Well, first of all, by sharing the whole city, you know, the Olympic Games, and then organizing back to back with the Paralympic Games, it helped a lot to bring the movement to where we are today. You know, we are the biggest sport event uh, for driving social inclusion. And in a way, this is also thanks to the efforts of the, of the IOC in uh, this partnership with the Paralympic movement. The Olympics and the Paralympics are already the two biggest multi-sport events that there are. How much further growth do you foresee for both? Uh, we have uh, a huge uh, potential, uh, in particular with regard to the cooperation with the Olympic uh, Channel. Uh, we will have a much uh, better opportunity uh, to address uh, the younger uh, generations. Uh, we will have uh, the opportunity uh, to make uh, the Olympic Games and the Paralympic uh, Games uh, more feasible and uh, more uh, sustainable. You've just overseen a highly successful Olympic Games. What are you expecting from the Paralympics here in Pyeongchang? Uh, I'm sure they will be a great success and they have been off to a great start uh, last night with a beautiful uh, ceremony and I think uh, this uh, ceremony has already set the tone. Uh, for a successful uh, Paralympic uh, Games. Uh, this is uh, what I wish uh, for uh, IPC and uh, what I wish also uh, for uh, the new long-term partner of uh, the IPC, the IOC. President Thomas Bach said he was highly impressed by the opening ceremony last night. How did you find it? Oh, I think it was incredible. Of course, it was my first uh, opening ceremony as IPC president, so I was, it was an honor. I was delighted, uh, and it was. I think it uh, sent some very strong messages. Of course, a message of peace, but also a message of inclusion. Uh, and it's good to be back here. 1988 was a historical moment for the Paralympic movement. So to be back in Korea in what is already the biggest Paralympic Winter Games ever so far, uh, it's a very uh, sounds very promising, and I can't wait to see the athletes in action.